Hello. Hello. Hi. Today, we're going to look at driving. Now, as you know, Kevin is learning to drive. And he's learning the rules of the road. So, Natalie is going to give Kevin a little test. Are you ready, Kevin? Yes. Yes. OK, Kevin. What does this sign mean? That means you have to stop. Correct. You have to stop. Have to. Have to. You have to stop. And now, what does this sign mean? That sign means no parking. No parking. You can't leave your car here. You can't park here. No parking. And this sign? That means it's a one-way street. One-way street. You can drive your car in one direction only along this street. One way. A one-way street. Well done, Kevin. <laughs> now, do you know what this sign means? You can't overtake. There's no overtaking allowed. No overtaking. That sign means that you are not allowed to overtake when you are driving along the road. It means don't overtake on this piece of road. And what does this sign mean? The sign means that you must reduce the speed at which you are travelling. Reduce speed now means slow down. That means you should slow down. It means to slow down. Go slower. Slow down. During the lunch break at MAP Advertising, Julia Marsh goes shopping. She takes her car. She wants to go to a shop in South Street, but she doesn't know where South Street is. Excuse me. Yes, madam. Could you tell me the way to South Street, please? Of course. Turn right here. It's the second on the right. Thank you. Oh, madam. Yes? You can't park here. But I won't be long. I'll only be a few minutes. Sorry, madam. You have to move it. You're parked on a yellow line. And there's the sign. Look. You have to use the car park. Ten minutes? I'm in a hurry. I have to go back to work. Sorry, madam. Do I have to use the car park? Yes. This is a no parking area. Where is the car park? It's not far. Go along this road and take the second turning on the left. The first is a one-way street. Turn left again and the car park is in front of you. Thank you. Julia Marsh has a problem. You can't park here. You have to use the car park. Julia doesn't want to go to the car park. Do I have to use the car park? Yes. This is a no parking area. James Brady is driving up to Edinburgh soon. Yesterday, he took his car to a garage for a service. Now, he's back at the garage 
to find out if his car is ready. Before we join him, there's one word you'll need to know. Something you find on a car or on a bicycle. Brakes. These things. Brakes. You use brakes to stop. Good afternoon. Is my car ready? Mr Brady? Yes. Oh, bad news, I'm afraid. What is it? There's something wrong with the brakes. And one of the lights doesn't work. When can you repair them? Well, the light is no problem. But the brakes... Hmm. Uh, we can't repair the brakes before next week, I'm afraid. But I'm driving to Edinburgh tomorrow. Would you like to rent a car? I'll give you a special price. Just fill in a form and off you go. Thank you. Now James has a problem with his car. There's something wrong with the brakes. When can you repair them? Repair. Make something good. The brakes don't work. When can you repair them? They can't repair the brakes before next week. But they can help James in another way. Would you like to rent a car? What does that say? D -d 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 danger. And what does that mean? It means it's dangerous to cross the road. Correct. Before you cross the road, look left. Then look right. Then look left again. Wait! Is it safe? Is a car coming? You, number two. I'm number three. All right, then, number three. It's safe. Nothing is coming. Correct. Now we can cross the road. Remember, when you want to cross the road, you have to stop and look left. Then you look right. <laughs> Kevin? Yes? What does this sign mean? That means... you're coming to a motorway. <laughs> Mark Hill is a motorway policeman. He works on the M1, the motorway that goes from London to the north of England. He starts by telling us who can't drive on motorways in Britain. The people that can't are learner drivers, pedal cyclists, motorcyclists with a certain CC motorcycle and agricultural vehicles and also pedestrians are not allowed up on the motorway. On average we deal with probably three to four accidents per shift. Bearing in mind we at over a 24-hour period we have three shifts. So multiply that by three would give us the number of accidents we probably deal with in a day. We have to make sure that persons who are injured are catered for and the extent of their injuries. That is our first step. Are you all right, my love? Are you all right? No. Yeah, all right, just hang on there, just hang on there. The second step is to clear the road as quickly as possible to enable the traffic to flow again. 
we can try and educate the motorist to drive better. They can look at our driving and perhaps learn from that. But also, when we stop the motorist, advise them where they could better themselves in certain areas. You're not used to driving on the hard shoulder. Of course, you could hit them, we've got a serious accident. We get pedestrians come down here, you get bits of exhaust left in here. Oh, Do you yeah. see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I have a varied working day. I never know what I'm going to deal with from one day to the next. And deal with numerous different people from numerous walks of life. And I don't think there's any other job that can give you that, that experience. OK, Kevin, one last one. What does this sign mean? That means you're at the end of the motorway. That's right. And we're at the end of the programme. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.